Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa and today we're going to be doing like a lip collection video kind of. We're going to go through and talk about my newest, my oldest, my most hype, kind of like the eyeshadow tag video that has been going around. I seen Jessica Braun do this video and she's going to start a series where she goes through her entire collection in this style instead of doing like a ranking and I thought it was a really good idea so I am taking this idea from Jessica Braun and I will link her channel down below and the original eyeshadow tag video was created by Samantha March and Ailey Gaines so I will link theirs down below as well and I did do an eyeshadow tag video so if you're interested in checking that out I'll have that down below too. I will try to remember all these. But we're just gonna go through and talk about what I think with, you know, certain products of my lip collection. So let's just get into the video. By the way, it's extremely hot today. It's like 90 and that's really hot for here. And I made this yummy drink. It's lemonade with lemons, I had some blueberries, and I splashed a little bit of lemon vodka. It's really good. And this straw, I got it at Disney on Ice years ago. It came, well, it was my daughter's. It came in like a bell, some kind of cup, fancy cup, and the straw came in it. So it came in handy and it's cute. And I did add one section or one category I added, I made up, and that will be at the end. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so the first category is newest. And I have four lip products. I got them all at the same time. And these were a gift from Didi Decor Beauty. And they're from LA Colors. I have As If lip color. This is from the Beauty Through the Decades. This is from the 90s. We have a plumping lip gloss in Shocker. We have a lip scrub in Fresh. And then another lip gloss in Coral Crush. And she found these at the Dollar Tree and I think they're all great. They smell good, they have good formulas. I'm really impressed with these. Now the oldest, I really went through. I'm gonna show you guys a picture of all my lip products together. It's kind of crazy how much lip products I accumulated. I do need to get rid of some of them. Yeah, I'm not a person who just gets rid of things. But when lip products start getting fuzzy, they gotta go. So the, these products I do need to get rid of and I'm going to after this video. They're my oldest. I have a Avon lip balm. It's kind of gross cause there's like, there's hair on it and like color from probably a lipstick or something. I wonder if it has a year on it. I can't find a year, but this thing is old. It was the, lip balm and, and petals. <laughs> this has got to go. And I've kept this. This is a black lipstick from Wet n Wild, the Fantasy Makers in, in pitch black. And I kept this around for like Halloween. I mean, it doesn't smell bad and I don't notice any strangeness. I mean, there's white makeup from Halloween looks. There's, I mean, Maybe I'll keep it around because I the only time I use it is for Halloween. So, okay, next category is most expensive and I was going through everything, trying to price everything. So I hope I got this right. It's the NARS or matte lip pigment and mine is in the shade get up, stand up. And I'm actually wearing it, I think for the first time today. It is a pretty summer color. It's not something I normally like go to, but it's like um, a pinky red like coral. It's, it's kind of pretty actually. It didn't completely dry down. It has a little bit of a, a stick to it, which is okay. So your lips don't, you know, you don't get the buffalo lips, but those are definitely, that's definitely my most expensive. And I didn't tell you, it retails for $26. And now we have most affordable, which these are really old. They gotta go too. These are the Wet n Wild lipsticks. I have Cashmere, Dark Pink Frost, 
and a short affair. I think these are just like the satin lip products. I don't notice anything funky going on with them, but oops, I just stabbed it. But they are old and the lid, lids don't really close that well. So I know air has gotten into these, but, and they're not really colors I reach for anyways. But these I believe are only a dollar. And I didn't want to um, do repeated items because the LA colors are a dollar as well. But I wanted to bring in a new product for each category. And now we have my everyday lip product, which is my ColourPop Just a Tint. And this one is in Gimme S'mores. It's just a lip crayon like balm. And it's perfect for every day. It's just like it says, it has a slight tint, but it's like balmy. I wouldn't say it was glossy. Like it doesn't, it's not really sticky. It's just a balm. And it does have like a mango scent. It can be strong for some people. Um, when I first tried it, it reminded me of cat pee, but I just got used to it. So it doesn't bother me anymore. I know that sounds crazy. Okay, and my most colorful was easy to pick up is definitely the Jeffree Star Mermaid Blood. Like this is a crazy color. I don't think I could pull off something like this on an everyday basis. I mean, I keep it around because like I said, I really don't get rid of anything. But if I do something for Halloween, maybe, and I guess Jeffree Star uh, liquid lipsticks are eye safe, so you could use it as liner and stuff. So, and now we have best memory. And that one was kind of like a tricky uh, category for me. Cause I'm trying, I, like I don't remember what I was wearing, like what lip color I had a really great day. I just don't remember that. So I chose things that like were special to me because of who got it for me. Um, these are the ColourPop So Juicy Lip uh, Plumping Gloss. And I have mine in QT and Stunning. And these two my daughter picked out for me for Christmas. Well, my daughter, my boyfriend and daughter went to Alta and were looking for Christmas presents for me. And my daughter was like, get these, you know. So I thought it was sweet that they went out and picked out makeup for me, you know. And then this one is from Too Faced. It is called Two Night two nightstand. It's a pretty like pink glitter. And this is special to me because, um, well, her one channel is called Gizmo and her name's Melissa. I'm pretty, Melissa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure it's Melissa. And she has a channel called, uh, I believe it's Twinkles Jewelry as well. She sent me a little package with jewelry she made and she threw this in there. So it's definitely special to me. Now we have something worth the hype. And I was trying to go through and see like what items do I have that are super hyped up. And I thought the Fenty Beauty gloss bombs were really, really hyped up. And I think they're really nice, honestly. They smell good. You get, it feels like you get a lot of product and your foot's a little dirty. It's, I don't know, it smells good. It's, a, it's just a nice gloss. I know they're expensive, but they are nice. And I do think they're worth the hype. Now we have a favorite from a favorite brand. And ColourPop is my favorite brand currently. I love their eyes. I love everything about ColourPop. Everything they have, I'm, I'm a real big fan of. And these are older. But they're the liquid lipsticks. I have Aquarius and Alyssa, and these were both in a ColourPop Kathleen Lights collab, probably one of the first collabs. And Aquarius, I can't remember if this is a satin formula. It's just a pretty nude. It's all the lettering wore out. I know I bought a I bought an Aquarius bundle with the gloss, the um, the satin formula and the matte. I think this is the satin. And I have put them in purses and stuff like that, so I'm not sure where the other two are. 
And then we have Alyssa, which I'm pretty sure is a satin. And Alyssa's really pretty too. It's more pinky mauve than Aquarius, but I really enjoy these. I enjoy, enjoy ColourPop. And I do like their lipstick formula. I like them and I like the glosses and everything. I know some people, it's not their favorite, but like I said, I enjoy them. My most used lip, you know, lip product has to be the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose Ketsu Liquid Lipstick. Like you could see, like it's almost gone. I was actually think, like thinking about purchasing another one because this is like my favorite. I love this color. The tone Dusty Rose color. I think it's so pretty and I love this color on me. The formula can be a little drying, but man, the color is perfect. I love it. I'm sure if I went through my collection, I could find a dupe for this, but it's so pretty. I mean, it is very similar to Aquarius. Now we have most underrated. And I think these tinted juice and cheese lip oils from Alta Beauty are so underrated. No one talks about these. They're so good. I have Passionate Peach and Tea Rose. They're right here. They are, I mean, when you put them on the lips, they do sheer out, but they're, they're like a hybrid between oil and a gloss, so they're not super sticky, but they're very moisturizing. I like the way they smell. They are very scented, pretty strong of like, kind of like fruity smell, but I think they're so good and I, I believe they're around like $9 if you get them at regular price, but Ulta Beauty always does sales like for their um, their brand. I think they're so good and no one talks about them. Okay, we got Most Nostalgic. It's old school beauty YouTube products. So that was a little tricky and I picked two products because they kind of remind me of old school beauty. YouTube, I wanna say I started watching YouTube maybe three years ago on like a regular basis. I used to only go on like YouTube to look up like Halloween makeup looks, stuff like that, but I wasn't like subscribing to people or anything like that. So for me, I mean, they're not super old, but it's just for what people were talking about when I first started watching YouTube. And Jordana, I have the Easy Liner for Lips, Retractable Pencil, and Rockin' Rose. I know the one color is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, but they're always sold out of that. I can't remember what it's called. It's like Tawny or something. But this one, I, I just remember a lot of people talking about Jordana, and lately people haven't been talking about that brand. This is just like a brown nude. I would say when I put on my lips, sometimes it doesn't transfer very well. It transferred on my, my hand, but not on my lips. It doesn't seem to. And I also remember people talking about Girlactic. Do you remember hearing about this brand? I know sometimes we get BoxyCharm items with the Girlactic brand, but I remember Kathleen Lights. Cause that's what that was. She was like one of the first ones I started watching. She would talk about girl actic all the time. It's just like a deep, I don't know, almost berry red. It is a pretty color, but yeah, you don't hear about girl actic anymore. Okay, now we have most disappointing, and this is disappointing because of the color. And I was kind of new to makeup and stuff. And this is a Wet n Wild lip gloss and it was a part of like a holiday collection. And the color is Boogie White Lights. And the reason this is disappointing to me, it's not the formula, it's kind of the shade. It's like the unicorn blue purple. And I remember I was really excited to get this because I thought it was so cool, so unique. But when I put it on, it just looked strange on me. <laughs> so it's nothing actually with the product or the formula, it's just the color, it just wasn't for me. Now we have Most Unique. And this is from ColourPop. It is a Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collab. It's the Twinkling Lights collection. It was for Christmas. And this is called Nightlight and it's a gloss. This is cool. It's like a bronze brown color. Let me find a space. 
and it's like look at it has so much glitter in it it's different than any other gloss I own I mean it's like a bronze color you can sheer it out you could use it as a topper over lip products it's really cool and I think it's a perfect holiday lip color it's so unique like for Christmas to top it over a red or even New Year's I don't know it's really cool next category is best smelling and a lot of these lip products smell good you know they usually add scents into lip products but this one's a really strong scent it is the Too Faced sweet peach creamy peach oil lip gloss and mine is in Peachsicle. It has such a strong smell of peach, like candy peach. It, I think it smells good. I could see how some people would get a headache, but it's just like a pretty peach color. I do have to be careful when I put this on though, because sometimes I find it, but it is pretty pigmented and it looks strange. Like I have to like pat it in with my finger. I don't know, the color like pills up. It's strange. And the last category that I thought needed to be included in this list is best nude. You know, we all have our favorite nude lipsticks for ourselves, and I'm not talking like a pinky nude or, you know, whatever, like a straight up nude that I think looks good on me. And mine is the Makeup Revolution Iconic Matte Lipstick and Chauffeur, my favorite. And... You can actually tell I've used this because of the shape of the bullet. I mean, I suppose it does have some pink in it, but it's just, it's a creamy matte formula, not too drying. And I just love how it looks on me. If I'm, if I'm doing something like dramatic or colorful on my eyes, I pop this on. It really complements a lot of really colorful looks. And even if I'm not doing that, like, I just think it's such a great nude and it goes well like if I'm doing cool tone looks or warm tone looks it goes well with it I love it I love the way it looks on me I even purchased a matte liquid lip version of the shade chauffeur but it's the shades a tiny bit different than this but yeah that is it for like my lip collection um tag video i guess it will call a lip collection tag video so if you would love to do this tag video and you really like the eyeshadow tag video i think it'd be fun for you guys to do it really makes you think and go through your collection and it made me realize how much i need to get rid of but i hope you like and i hope you subscribe it really helps me out and i will see you guys soon bye